Now let's go ahead and take a live look outside this morning. We are seeing uh, mostly clear skies along SPID. Few isolated showers. Now it is still hurricane season. Let's go across the world over to Japan where they're dealing with the typhoon. This moved across parts of the southern islands and now it looks like it's going to be moving northward. It's bringing very high surf, heavy rain, as well as some gusty winds to right around 100 miles per hour. So we're not the only ones who have been busy with the tropics. We're looking at 79 degrees at this hour. Winds out of the east southeast at three miles per hour. Relative humidity 90%. 85 is our current temperature in Rockport. 78 in Beeville. 77 in Kingsville. Our winds are mostly light. We will see a little bit of a sea breeze this afternoon. Not going to be quite as strong as it was on Friday. Yesterday a little bit less and then even uh, lighter winds today and tomorrow. Now as far as the uh, coastal flood advisory, that's going to be in place through tomorrow morning. That means at high tide we will see the water coming up pretty close to the dunes and the moderate risk of rip currents out there. Few isolated showers popping up. You can see that right across parts of San Patricio County moving right up into the Sinton area. Yesterday's heaviest rain was definitely in our inland locations with that sea breeze. Some of these areas picked up about a quarter of an inch of rain near Alice, about three quarters of an inch of rain near uh, George West. Heavier shower activity to the west. Here is that cold front. Unfortunately, it's just not going to make it here, so it looks like we're going to have to wait a little bit for that. But those isolated showers will continue for today. Then again, as we head into your Monday, looks like it's going to be a little bit drier, however, on the middle part of the work week on Tuesday and Wednesday. Heaviest rain shower activity should be across parts of the upper Texas coast, but a few of these storms could dump about a half an inch of rain over the next couple of days. And here is that cooler air, 51 in Albuquerque, 66 in Amarillo, well, it's still very warm along the central and eastern part of the state. Front located right here. The shower is dwindling here for us, but they are increasing in intensity across the upper Midwest and also up towards the Great Lakes. As far as the threat of severe storms, basically from Oklahoma City, St. Louis, up into Chicago, Kansas City could get some pretty big thunderstorms today. You got the clash of the very hot and humid air and the cooler air off to the west. And that is the setup for some of those big thunderstorms. 37 degrees this morning in Casper, Wyoming. Salt Lake is waking up to 47. Here's a look at our forecast for today. Mostly sunny and isolated shower possible. Look for a daytime high right around 94 degrees for tonight. Partly cloudy and mild. We'll see an overnight low of 77 degrees. Your seven day forecast brought to you by NEC Co-op Energy. So isolated showers today. Maybe a little bit more widespread as we head into Monday, which is the first day of fall. Then mild, dry, middle part of the work week. Isolated showers returning as we get closer to next weekend. Stay with us. We have a lot more coming up on Sunrise.